what's going on guys welcome back to the channel lone wolf 902 today i want to take a look at a product that is awesome it was sent to me by through night very very powerful miniature flashlight so this thing right off right off the beginning gets two thumbs up from me i was absolutely amazed when i got this and i turned it on <laughs> no joke no joke i went directly outside and i hit turbo Boom, backyard lit up. Not even joking, this is now my new favorite flashlight. I'm really happy to share it with you guys. So let's get it out of the package and let's talk about what it comes with and let's go from there. All right, so let's start off with the packaging. Here you can see the through night branding on the top, on the side, very nice and very simple packaging. So let's go ahead and open up the top. Right away, we can see the Through Night T1 flashlight. We'll go ahead and set this off to the side. We also have a flashlight clip, which is a two-way clip, so you can clip it in this way or you can clip it that way, so that's very handy. Underneath of the foam insert, we have the USB charge cable, very handy. We also have a bag with a lanyard cable on there, so that's quite useful as well. Uh, and then the rest of everything inside is one of these silica packaging for taking moisture out, which is great for shipping. And then we have the user manual and a couple more pieces of useful literature. So that is everything that comes with the Through Night T1 flashlight. Got to reposition my mosquito coils over here, get some of that smoke going that way. Uh, so let's talk about... Well, let's talk about the flashlight and the flashlight clip first. This clip just simply snaps on to this little recessed area on the rear of the flashlight. No tools needed. You can put it on or take it off with a firm little click. So there it is. It's fully rotational. You can rotate it to the button side or wherever you need it. I like rotating it so it's above the charge port and that way the button there is fully exposed. Now this clip is very, very useful. As I mentioned before, you can clip on this way or you can clip on that way, okay? So what that means is you can clip it underneath the bill of your hat if you were wearing a baseball hat and use it as a headlamp or you can go ahead and clip it onto your shoulder strap like that way and if you're walking at nighttime, you can either read a map. So if you had a map or something you needed to read, you can use that as a hand-free light. Or you can just click it onto any object that's around you that you need to, to basically hold the light for you, okay? Now, there is another method of this. I'm going to show you real quick. Here I have my knife. I also click it onto my knife holster area. So I can put it on my leather strap and basically carry my knife, fire steel, striker, and light on there because it's so small and it's so light of a flashlight, it fits basically anywhere. Now, the other method of mounting coming off of there, it has a magnet on the rear. So you can go ahead, and I like this, mount it directly to your knife. Now, basically what this does, go ahead and stick that in the table. I can slap that on there and basically use my knife as a tripod for, for the light, which is pretty neat because if you were in an area, and I don't recommend doing this, but if you had to sink your knife into a tree, you could stick it into a tree and then stick that on your knife and shine the beam of light where you need it to go, which is very, very handy, very useful. And, uh, and it, it's good to have a knife, a fire steel, a striker, everything with you while you're outdoors and having that click right onto the outside of the sheath and then not get in the way and not add that much extra weight is really, really useful. So go ahead and get this out of the way. So having a look at the third or the, the fourth option, I should say, because you got the forward clip, the reverse clip, the magnet. Now we do have that little hole for the lanyard. So let's go ahead and take the lanyard out of the package. And right away, there is a spare rubber door the little lifting port for the charging port, and there are two additional rubberized O-rings, and those go on the end once you screw it together after replacing the battery. You could put a new O-ring on there if that one decides to fall apart or become degraded. It does have two additional O-rings 
along with the rubber door to put back on over top of the charging port. So we'll go ahead and move those off to the side. But coming back to the lanyard, it does have this nice cord. It's much like a, a camera. Like if you get a digital camera, it comes with a nice little kind of lanyard type deal. We'll go ahead and assemble this very simply. It just slips inside of the hole in the end cap and then you run it through itself and it has a little toggle here which you can move forwards and backwards to secure around your wrist. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there and I'll show you guys how it, it fits on your wrist basically and, and talk about the benefits of that. Okay, so I got the lanyard attached to the flashlight. See it dangling there. Now, the benefit with having a lanyard on such a small flashlight, and I know it might sound a little self-explanatory, but if you happen to be out kayaking or doing something that requires your hands to be moving, um, you, you could put this around your wrist and cinch it up with a little toggle there and have it secured on your wrist. Now, if I'm paddling, I could, could hold on to the light and the paddle at the same time and be kayaking if I were happened to maybe hit a rock with my paddle and drop the light. It's not going anywhere. Now, this is very useful if you're using walking sticks. Maybe you get trekking poles and you're walking and occasionally you want to shine the light and it does happen to come out of your hand. It's not going to get lost. It's not going to fall out of your hands or into the water. It's secured on there. Very cool, very useful. And you can also go ahead and hang it from the loop inside of your tent or maybe on a, on a ridge line or a stick. Anywhere as you need to put it, it will go. All right, so now that we've had a look at the lanyard, I've gone ahead and removed it. Uh, I want to talk about the charge cable. It does come with a USB charge cable, which is very, very helpful, very helpful. For someone like me, I usually have a battery bank with me to charge my camera, my headlamp, whatever. This is very useful. It's basically a standard micro USB. And like I was saying, there's a little rubber door on the side. You go ahead and rotate the clip out of the way, plug it in, and you're charging. And we'll talk a little bit more about the specs on charge time and, and all that stuff in a little bit. But it is useful to have a charge cable. Now, one more benefit with this flashlight. Where it is USB charge, it also has a removable battery. To me, this is a major deal because if I want a flashlight that's going to last for a long time, I want to be able to do just this. So to me, it's really important to have a removable battery because not everybody is going to have a battery bank to charge their devices with. Or let's say this cable becomes damaged while you're out in the field and that's your only way to charge your battery. You could simply pack an extra battery. And if you don't have the means to charge, you can just swap out the battery with a new one fully charged and off you go. They're very small, they're very light. Now this battery is 1100 milliamp hours. It is a through night branded battery, 3.7 volt. It is a 18350 battery. Pretty interesting battery, lithium ion of course. So like I said, if you don't have the means to charge with the cable, you could pack an extra battery and have a full charge. All you gotta do is swap out the battery and you're back in business. So the final thing that we haven't really touched on yet is the owner manual. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on camera and you can go ahead and pause and kind of read through it yourself. But I'm just going to touch on a few different things here. So it says distance 102 meters max. It's a very long distance. Um, let's talk about impact resistance 1.5 meter of dropping it. It has a resistance to damage. Waterproof is IPX-8, it's saying two meters. So two meters water resistance, which is fairly decent. You know, if you're kayaking down a, a small stream or it starts pouring with rain or you're out fishing and you happen to accidentally drop it. If, you, if you're not using this lanyard and you happen to drop it, it, it should be good for two meters. Um, let's talk about indicator. So flashing red is one to 10% battery life. 11 to 20 is solid red and 21 to 100 is blue, okay? So that'll give you an idea when you're using it, it it'll actually light up when you turn it on. That's the color, that's what it means. So let's go down and talk about, hmm, what else do we got here? Weight, 45 grams, it's saying it weighs. The accessories we've already covered uh, there are different modes. So there is a, you turn it on, and right now I have it really bright. If I 
press it again, it's gonna turn on, it's gonna remember its last mode. Now, while it's on, if I go ahead and press and hold the button, it's going to dim down to its lowest. It's gonna double flash to let me know, and then it's gonna go back up to its highest, double flash to let me know, and it'll continue that until I let off. Now, where I let off, if I shut it off and turn it back on, it's gonna come back to that last state of use. Change it, you can hold it again to bring it back bright. It's gonna flash, let you know, now it's the fullest bright. Turbo, 1500 lumens for three minutes. It'll then step down automatically to 408 lumens for 52 minutes. Infinity High, 685 lumens for 65 minutes. Infinity Low, 15 lumens for 35 hours. Firefly Mode, 0.5 lumen for 12 days. Strobe, 550 lumens for 120 minutes. Firefly Mode, let me show you what it looks like. Hold it for one second when the light's off. Firefly mode, that's it. That's a night light. It is actually useful. If it's pitch black, you can actually use it to read and it won't reflect into your face. That'll go for how long? 12 days, 12 days. Pretty wild. To get out of that, click it, it goes back into off. And then when you click it again, I wanna shine it this way because it's gonna be bright. It'll go back to the memory, the, the memory that the last stage that it was used at. And then if we hold it in, it'll step up again, double flash, and that is 685 lumens at infinity high. Hold it again, it's gonna go all, and I, if I let off right there, it'll stop. It'll hold that brightness. When I turn it off, turn it back on, it'll remember that brightness. Now continuing down, holding the button, it's gonna go back up, and then it's gonna step back down, flash. That right there is infinity low, 15 lumens, 35 hours, and then off, one, two, three, strobe, off, and so on. A lot of programs in there, very, very handy. Single button operation, incredibly easy to use. Uh, this thing is, is excellent. It's coming in, I wanna say like, just over two inches tall. I mean, it's, it's super, super small, like very small, and probably about three quarters of an inch in diameter. Very small, and like I said, the, the 45 grams. I mean, for a small light, 1500 lumens, packed full that many, features you can't go wrong with it i i'm not going to go wrong with it i'm definitely happy with it very very happy with it so like i was saying this thing is incredibly bright at nighttime putting it on turbo it will shine it has a path of light that will just light up your entire area in front of you strobe again very very bright you could shine it up in the air you could put it on your knife like i said on a tree and angle it where you need to and it will shine that light actually that's sticking that's sticking through my knife sheath. That's how strong that magnet is. So it's a very strong magnet that's built into there. But like I said, if you were to use it on a knife, stuck there like that, you could sh shove it in the ground if you really needed to put your knife in the ground, or you could put it in a wooden surface on any angle you needed to, okay? So using the knife, my personal favorite way of mounting any magnetic flashlight is to stick it to the to the knife and you basically got a built-in tripod right so that is pretty much all that i have for you guys it is a very very tough durable light it's incredibly small it's incredibly bright it's got loads of features and it's excellent for any time it's it's nothing to clip on my knife and bring it with me it's nothing to hook it on my sweater you know clip it on there and it's not going to feel like it's weighing me down so anytime that i'm out in the woods by myself it's especially when I'm doing my photography, this is with me. And it actually helps with certain techniques of light painting. If you guys aren't familiar with light painting, look it up. Very, very interesting. It, so many modes. If I need soft light painting, I can bump it down to soft. If I need to really lighten area up, I can do that. And also when I'm out in the woods by myself and doing photography, your focus is really on what you're doing. You're not looking behind you. And doing sunsets in the woods, it gets dark quick. So it's nothing for me to have my knife on my side and reach down, turbo, shine behind me, have a quick look, make sure there's nothing creeping around in the bush, turn it off, back into focus. Can't go wrong with it. Very, very cool. I love it. And I thank Through Night for sending it to me. I'm very, very happy with it. So that is everything. Charge cable, lanyard, spare battery, port, uh, charging cable, 
cover, two additional O-rings. The battery does come with it. It's already in there. The flashlight clip, everything buttoned up in this tiny little cardboard box. And they have many more awesome products and they're coming out with new products as well. So that's all I got for you. If you have any questions or comments, drop it down below and I'll try to answer them to the best that I can because I do have the literature here packed full of useful information. Um, yeah, that's all that I got. So I'm going to enjoy using this on every single trip. It's with me and it's one thing that I don't usually talk about is my flashlight. I use my flashlights and my headlamps every single trip at nighttime because I don't do a lot of nighttime filming. So there's really no point to me showing a light being shined around. Nighttime is usually my time. I like to enjoy it off camera. So this will be with me absolutely. Thank you through night and thank you for tuning in and checking out this video.